All right, I need some of y'all to listen up. Some of you are freaking the frick out in public lobbies, and it's starting to make me mad. Now you might say, Archie, what are you talking about? Archie, why did you steal my kidneys? To answer that, no, you can't have them back. And let me explain, or I am going to lose it. Story time. You see, for the past few weeks, I've been working on uploading more consistently. And in my free time, I've been playing Warframe and Poop of the Dead, but mostly Warframe. Now, I decided, you know what? I haven't finished my Steel Path circuit runs and oh, ho, ho, ho. Crit Regulator Build Mesa? Incarnate Soma with Crit Riven ready to go? Well, might as well, you know. If that sentence didn't make any sense to you, that's okay. You probably know how to talk to women and hold eye contact for longer than five seconds. But I didn't realize that my lobby settings were set to public as I had been farming relics the previous night and bashing my head into a wall. Anyway, I get into the game with the main focus of this whole video. A funny man with funny numbers ending in 420 6969. Anyway, round one, defend the cradle. Now, pause. If you've ever played Circuit before, you tell me what is the first thing, the first thing you normally do. Me personally, I want to find those decree fragments, especially with a crit build warframe and a crit build weapon. I really want that vicious barb. So I set out looking for the fragments. I find the first two incredibly easily, but then, uh, 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 I have no idea where the last fragment is. At this point, while I've been searching, Funny Numbers Man has been on the cradle and is not doing well. Bro goes down once, twice, thrice even. Bro is mastery rank seven and somehow has turned the Nataruk of all weapons into a pool noodle. If that doesn't mean anything to you, it just know that it's one of the best bows in Warframe and should have no problem against the first round of Steel Path enemies. So anyway, after going down for a third time, Bro says this. <clears throat> So help me, or I am going AFK. You know what? Maybe this guy's new to circuits. Let me just explain what I'm doing. Uh, I D G A F. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Fuck it, man. Who gives a shit? You know what? I want to know. How did you fuck up the Nataruk so badly you can't pass round one? You know what? I don't even really care about that anymore. What I really want to know is how did you fuck up playing Wisp? How have you died three times when there's a health mode right there? Motherfucker. How did you fuck that up? How did you fuck that up? I need to know. And you know what? In any other game, maybe you would have had a point. But this is Warframe. Have you looked around? I don't know where you got that weak mental absentee father. No, milkless behavior from. But you better leave it wherever the fuck you found it. I know that there are some new players here. For example, MacDix popular Destiny content creator just finished their playthrough of Warframe. Dude, this game blows, it continues to blow my mind every single day. But when it comes to teammates, Warframe isn't Destiny. It isn't Overwatch, and thank the heavens, it isn't Lee. You should be able to complete basically all of the content in Warframe on your own. If you're going down, if you're failing missions, that's probably on you, buddy. This is not a game where you can blame your failure on the tank not tanking, or the DPS not DPSing, or your teammate feeding on bot lane and yelling the most psychotic shit in all chat. Your success is entirely determined by how capable you are. So with this understanding of mind, I had to hit him with that LMAO, and then I found that last fragment and I'm at the I came back over to the point I pressed a single button, I clicked my mouse, and everything fucking died. What a waste. CRITICAL DAMAGE! Hmm. Oh! Doink! Baka, omae wa mo shinderu yu, watashi wa keisatsu kara tosou chu desu. Ho 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 ho! Bigger number, better person, bigger number, better person, bigger number, better person, bigger number, better person, bigger number, better person. Oh, 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 okay. And just like that, the defense was complete, and our funny numbers man bid farewell and wished me the best.
then nah, he called me a freeloader. What in the fuck? Now, why am I making this video about one guy? After all, after over 500 hours, it's incredible it took this long to get one guy trying to be toxic. Maybe it was all a joke and I just didn't pick up on it, but I'm gonna say something that is going to scare away the 0% of women that watch my videos. Let's talk about Reddit. I don't use Reddit much, but over the past year, my recommended posts seem to have a lot more to do with people being more and more toxic in-game and out of game. My gamer in Christ, just play nice. The community and the fact that the developers still care is what separates Warframe from other games whose developers said, ah, oh, don't worry, we'll fix everything. Just gotta go get the milk and cigs real quick. <laughs> Shut up! Would you settle for 200 premium Overwatch coins? And the communities in these games have started acting milkless, losing their minds over nothing. Now, all of that to say that almost everyone in this community is chill, but I've seen some of you start to spoil and I don't like it. And with Warframe Negative 1 coming out, just be nice to each other. And to 420-6969, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Though I did keep going through the circuit after you left and got that burst in Incarnin, baby! Now I just gotta go upgrade it and- oh. You know what? No, I changed my mind. Game bad. I hate it here. <laughs>